Welcome back to Nikki's Scrapbooking Adventures. Today we're playing along with Best of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. Today is day 13 and this is the day I'm featured on Instagram. So if you would kindly go check me out and all the people who are playing along. So today we're going to use this sketch from Page Maps. It has three photos and then some strips of paper. The reason I chose this specific sketch was because I'm actually doing a challenge for National Scrapbook Day. So I do video ahead and the goal is to have three photos, three different pattern papers, and a three word title. So lots and lots of threes. And I saw this as I can do one pattern here, one pattern there, and one pattern there. So my three photos are of my son. And he loves to get caught in his blanket. I don't know why. This was just a thing that used to happen. <laughs> so you can totally see him struggling here. I think it's hilarious. Okay, now if we take a look at our sketch, the paper or the photos need to be smaller. They suggest two by three. So I don't actually have a photo size guide of two by three, but I do have one of two and a half by two and a half and three by three. So I can see that each of my photos actually would fit in a two and a half by two and a half model. So I think I can actually get these to be two by three photos because I don't really need all of his toys and junk around it. The story is specifically about him getting caught. Now, I am going to be using the collection Bungalow Lane and these are the, the papers I'm going to choose. I was looking at this collection, I used it on a previous layout, and I noticed a lot of things about just kind of this overall theme. This looks like these are stitched stars on the paper. And a lot of what she has in the collection are buttons and things about home sweet home and all that kind of stuff. So I thought that this would be the perfect collection to document about how my son loves to get stuck in his blanket and sewing patterns works perfect for that. So I'm going to first cut down my photos, cut down my paper and lay everything out for us. Okay. So I've got my base page here and I've got the workings of my title block. So that's going to sit right there with a little circle in it. I thought that was just a cute little like doily type shape. I thought that was a little bit fun to go along with the sewing theme. I even found this uh, sticker set that's burlap. And so that's going to be what my title is. I was stuck is my title, so three words, just like I had explained. And that's gonna land right on top of there. I picked that color, well actually I was looking for brown, but then I stumbled upon this, and this is, was in my brown category, looking for something similar to that color right there. Um, and this works because what I'm talking about is his blanket. So every time, every time he gets stuck in that silly little blanket, so now what is left is to decorate. And I just want to get this layout done. <laughs> Honestly, I want to go to bed and I want to get this layout done. So there's my title. So we are literally going to plop these down right with us. Uh, decorate quickly with what I have. So I'm just going to move this because it's kind of getting in the way. My title's going to land there. I've got a little strip here. Oh, you know what I wanted to show you? Something that Janet from RTS showed us for faux stitching. There's faux stitching around the block of paper here. 
And what she used was a sewing thing and it's got little points on it. I have no idea what this thing is called. It's by Singer. I'm going to attempt to do this together. You're going to, let's see, what color? Probably want a little light blue. Yeah, let's do the light blue. So I've got a dark blue here, but that, let's take a look at that dark blue here. Well, that dark blue is pretty good. I'm going to use this one. It's called Faded Jeans Stress Oxide. I'm going to use a straight edge, specifically my T-square ruler, to get a straight edge. And we're just going to go outlining thing here. Okay. So this is what she has taught us to do. I'm going to do it right on the layout. Cover that puppy in ink. Just cover it in ink. Run it through. Okay. And then this creates some faux stitching lines. Woohoo. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit down. Okay, and then I'm going to move it over. Gonna do another faux stitching line. Start at the top this time to get a better deal. And it's okay that I kind of went off there. Not a big deal. This is just to add a little bit of detail and that's gonna end up landing below where my um, title spot is going to be. Okay, there's one line, and this is actually working better than I thought it would. I tried this in the past, and I think maybe my line was too long or something, because I'm getting a pretty good, let's see there, I'm getting a pretty good stitch marks. Sweet. That means I don't have to draw them by hand. Let me bring this in close so you can see it. See those dots? That's what that looks like. Going back and forth using that faded jean. So, see how that just covers it right up? Not a big deal at all. Okay, back to embellishing. So we got our title. Next... Let's see, we've got ink, eat, drink, and be cozy. I think this cat is hilarious, so this is going to go on here, because I don't have a cat, but I think that's super cute. There we go. Look at that. That brings that pink from here to here. And then I need a third spot. I think that's probably going to be like right here. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay. I do want to get the date. I do have the date in my stickers. So thinking the date's probably going to land right there. And then my title is going to be up there. Let's do that. So there's my that, that. I wonder if I've got some burlap something or other that I can put on here got these weird things here. I wonder if there's anything. Eat, drink, and be cozy. The perfect afternoon. Capture the moment. Let's see. I need some of that pink to be moved up there. You cat to be kitten me right now. Meow. Oh my gosh. That is cute. And then let's put some of these buttons. I kind of want to get these stars in a visual triangle. So you got a star there. Star there. Ooh, these are nice. I like these. These are like kind of a weird texture. Okay. All right. So we've got yellow, yellow. Let's do, we've got a light blue here. 
and just pop that right there. And then and you put the well, and that one there. I love the feel of those. That's like amazing texture. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Cool. Be drink and be cozy. That's perfect. And then I was stuck. Is going to go right there. And that is that. Got my date on there. My journaling is self-explanatory with the photos. Let's see. Now, if you wanted to add more journaling, I'm not going to because I feel like the title is my journaling. The sketch calls for journaling lines, which I think this is the perfect spot for. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check me out on Instagram. It's Nikki's Scrapbooking Adventures, just like on YouTube. Please hop along with everybody else, and I will see you next time.